Hi, I'm back. So everything's nice and dry now. And um, I realized that this picture needs um, a tree in it in the front. So this is going to be a tree right here. And the firefighters standing on safe ground trying to stop the fire from coming to this tree. So this is going to be a live tree. These are more in the distant. Uh, so um, I'm just going to do a little, little uh, tree here. Just going to make a little tree, I think, on this side. Coming right from the bottom. And this is a live tree. about that tall. Okay, and then just do my greens. A bit black. I'm not going to do it very... This is a live tree. Remember to fill in your center because your tree is alive. You can't have any air looking, looking through. No sky showing in the middle of your tree. That's where your tree is mainly. It could be a funky tree or it could be any kind of tree. Actually, it's probably a little happy tree. It doesn't know what's going to hit them in a few minutes, which is kind of sad. But he's, a, he's still alive and he's still happy right now. Nice and dark in the middle. Tree's always darker in the middle. And darker, darker towards the bottom. Oops, that's black. What is is kind of um, difficult is that when I did this picture, it was probably a year ago <laughs> and you know I had a style like when you, you sit down to a picture you have a style right and I did a style of trees well unfortunately today uh, it's hard to kind of replicate that style so it's gonna look a little different than those trees <laughs> I think I'm going to make it right through so he'll be.
I remember when you're doing trees too, you know, I know children, they'll do a little stick and they'll do a branch out to each side. Remember there's branches down the middle to come facing you, so never just do them out just to the sides by themselves. Uh, It's definitely different than the other ones. I'm not sure if I'm too happy with that, but. We can work with that. Okay, now we're going to put the little man in here. I should say that. Little man. Is that right? Um, the firefighter. And um, I think he should be in safety, so he's not going to be down there. He should be about here, on right here. So I would say that tree's that tall. So he would be starting here, and he'd be about this tall. So I'm going to put a dot there where he is up about here and the bottom about he's standing about here. Okay? So it's really important to plan your plan your pictures. I just lost my water. I'm just going to grab it. The water there. Okay. So he's going to be um, Pretty silhouetted. Um, a small brush here. You know, I don't know what color of, they probably wear, I would think, orange construction hats, I would think, helmets. And it's kind of pretty gray by now. Brush. I don't need water left. Uh, I'll use this little pointy one. Okay. Let's give him a brown jacket or something.
<laughs> Gotta get his legs longer. He's as short as me. Standing in a safe place. Take that far away from underneath him. Looks like a helmet. Not my forte, people. But give it a try. That's ah, alright. That looks better. Okay. I think that's it now. The thing is, when you redo a picture, this picture is now currently um, a new picture. So I now assign it, I like to sign mine by date. A lot of people don't, um, but I do. So now I'm gonna put uh, today's date on it. So thank you very much. Um, I hope this helped you. This, you can use this, uh, this uh, template for trying to redo any of your pictures actually or to even to modify them this is more for modifying not for starting from scratch if I started from scratch of course I'd use the white and I would redo it again but this is more for just modifying and sometimes you want to modify just a little bit like I can look at a picture maybe for two months it'll be sitting in my wall and go you know it's not just right I don't know what it is I don't know what it is and then one day oh I know it needs such and such I remember I painted a, a, a woman uh, and it was just a, it was an outline of a woman, and it was a, it was a, uh, more like a, more like an abstract, but it was, uh, and all it needed, it was a silhouette, and the whole thing was blue, the whole picture, blue and black, and I thought, ah, she's missing something, missing something, ah, she needed a big white, white earring, so that's all it took. So sometimes you just have to do that. So you can pick up a painting anytime and redo it, even if you have your Krylon over it. Paint will still paint over Krylon because I, I finish my pictures with Krylon but, to protect them. And, um, but uh, yeah, you can still put paint over Krylon. So yeah, thanks a lot. Have a great day.